Life on Earth. The crazy stuff from Mother Nature herself. <laughs> this is Life on Earth, the miniseries where we talk about Mother Nature herself and the crazy things she does. And this week, in the craziness of Mother Nature, we have... What? So I went into this week's topic wondering what the fastest reaction time is in nature. Turns out that 101 milliseconds is the current fastest reaction time ever recorded for a human. Decently fast. It is. One tenth of a second's pretty good, um, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the average reaction time for the average human however, is around 215 milliseconds, or just over one-fifth of a second. The more athletic people have much quicker reaction times due to training and such, mm. but still, one-fifth of a second seems pretty fast, right? Mm, pretty decent. When I was doing my research to find the fastest reacting animal, there was actually a lot of confusion out there, and I found a lot of wrong answers before I found the right ones. Does the jumping spider come into play? It does not, unfortunately. I love the jumping spider. They're pretty. Look at it. Pretty. <laughs> the first answer that pops up when you search for this is the star-nosed moles. I have heard that, yeah. Now, these creatures are actually standing in quite a few ways, but their reaction times are 26.9 times faster than the average human at 8 milliseconds. Holy crap. Now, that is, of course, impressive, but what is more impressive is the fruit fly. It was only recently discovered that the fruit fly's reaction time is 5 milliseconds. Hmm. That is 43 times faster than you or me. Dang. Yeah, that's, that's faster than a lot of computer mouses, like gaming computer mouses. Right. Like the fastest ones are like 0.1, it's kind of the average. Right. <laughs> well, it's no wonder that these flies don't live very long. When you perceive things 43 times faster than a human, time would seem to go 43 times slower. Yeah. So their few days life might actually feel like a month. Um, while it is typically believed by people and sources online, neither the snar-nosed mole or the fruit fly is the fastest reacting animal, they are both wrong. The fastest reactor is this. Huh. The copepod. Is that like a species of krill or algae? The, the copepod is a crustacean that lives all around the world. Um, in on land, in water, salt water, fresh water, on mountains, under logs. That's a very small crustacean. It is. Probably very similar to the size of like a water bear, I'm assuming. Yeah. Mm. That's a water bear. They're also cute and adorable <laughs> and, and scary. Right? And tiny. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. <laughs> now, the reaction time for a copepod is under 2.5 milliseconds. Now, a crazy way to put this into perspective is a neurotransmitter. Well, to transmit from one neuron to another usually takes about 1.5 milliseconds. So this copepod literally can detect and then react in just barely over the time it takes for the neuron to fire. Dang. This puts the copepod's reaction time at 86 times faster than an average human being. When the time it takes me to think about slapping a copepod, it would have slapped me over 86 times. <laughs> <laughs> a lot over 86 times, actually. Yeah, probably. Copepods and other tiny creatures like this actually have a unique way of storing energy. Um, instead of like a normal mammal, they don't store up energy to react in case of danger. Hmm. Something dangerous happens and then our muscles react and we produce the energy and we do all that. But these copepods, one of the reasons they can react so fast is because they have that energy stored up in special ways in their joints. And so when they, their, this danger neuron is triggered, they are ready to go right then and there. That is actually similar to the jumping spider I was talking about before, because um, they don't use muscles to jump. They use um, blood. They use blood pressure in their joints, and um, they essentially pull the trigger, and it launches them. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that's a similar thing that happens here. 
it would probably not be in your best interest to go around challenging any Copa Pods to a game of whack-a-mole or any other reaction-based games. You will lose your money. All of it. So that's the crazy life on Earth that I found for today. Oh, this is going to be a fun one for me and you at home. He is going to have to guess what the heck is going on while you and I know what the heck is going on. Put this on your face. My face? Yes, cover your eyes. Oh, hey. <laughs> then? Also, make sure I've got these up and going. All right, now put these on your ears. So I'm going to be listening to something. You're going to be listening to something. Can you hear me? I can. Okay, good. I might have to speak up, so. <laughs> now you cannot see, correct? Correct. All right, you at home, you can see, correct? Thought so. <laughs> okay. We are going to play a game, and you are going to tell us what it is you are hearing. I'm talking to you. All it, right. he, he can't see me. <laughs> I guess I should clarify. Justin J Time is going to be playing a game with us. We are going to know what the thing is making this noise, and he is going to have to tell us what he thinks that thing is. Okay. This sounds like fun. Yes. All right. Starting off with a doozy. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> Let it run for a second. Now, what, j -Tab, do you think you were just listening to? That sound, I, I've never heard that before, but I'm going to say some kind of toad. All right. We'll, we'll give you at least two guesses, so we'll try and get you close. If it's not a toad, maybe a pig. All right. Now, uh, lift your eyes to look at the insanity that has ensued. Oh, a koala. That is a koala. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that before, but now, okay. Yeah. That's sad. That's crazy. Yeah, koalas sound demonic. <laughs> yeah, they <that's true. laughs> All right. Is there another? Yes, there is okay. many more. Next guess. All right. <laughs> now, what did you think that was, sir? That sounded like a little child. Probably a toddler screaming in, in excitement. So we have a guess of a child. Next. <laughs> that sounds like the screaming goat. <laughs> does sound like a screaming goat, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We've all seen that. <laughs> <laughs> Now, <laughs> is it a turtle? It is not a turtle. It is not a turtle. It's not a turtle. Oh. What's your guess? I guess it was a turtle. Okay, his guess was a turtle. <laughs> he got that one wrong. We'll move on. All right. Now, guess what? Uh, some kind of monkey in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> a monkey in a tree, all right. This one, it's one of my favorite ones. This is hilarious. All right. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta be some kind of bird. Um. Are you sure? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's gotta be some kind of bird. Um, are you sure? <laughs> it's not when you say it like that. <laughs> it's gotta be a bird. My guess is a bird. I don't know what kind. But. I'm not messing with this head. Ah, another fun one. Wow, sounds like a squeaky toy. It does sound like a squeaky toy. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, some kind of small rodent. I'm going to guess a mole or uh, something. All right, on to the next. On to the next one. What the heck? <laughs> Sounds like somebody who's constipated. 
So that's your guess. Yes. Oh, yes. oh, I don't have any idea what that was. Okay. <laughs> On to the next one. Uh, <laughs> a cat with a lisp. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've heard cats make similar noises to that. I'm, I'm not sure what else it could be. All right, let's circle back. Okay. We'll, we'll let you leave the headphones on, but take your eyes out and we'll... Take my eyes out. Yeah, we'll let you see what has gone on and transpired. Oops, all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's see how close I was. Yep, so first guess was incorrect. Right. But it was a quad. There's your koala noise. They're, they're disturbing. Um, the next one, I don't remember what you guessed. It was that, but it's that thing. I guess a small child. <laughs> yeah. And then the next one. Oh, it's a sheep, not a goat. Yep. So apparently sheeps can make that noise too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> so like screaming goats, Sheep make a similar noise sometimes. I did not know that. There was there was many f hilarious ones of that one, but I didn't want to oversaturate it with the goat content. Right. <laughs> Little squeaky frog thing. <laughs> I guess the turtle for this one, didn't I? Yes, this was your turtle. Man, I knew there was a frog in here somewhere. Yep. What does the fox say? Apparently the fox says. <laughs> 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 what did I say? A monkey in a tree? Yep. Mm. This is your monkey in a tree. <laughs> That's crazy. This, you guessed a bird. It sounds <laughs> like a laser gun. Yeah, it sounds like Star Trek. I thought you'd appreciate this one. You love Star Trek. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy cool. This, you guessed a squeaky toy. <laughs> no way. Yeah. That can't be real. Yep. Oh, that's scary. So these, <laughs> they don't actually produce noise from their mouths. It's coming out of their skin. <sighs> and if you watch when he, he pushes in on it, its head contracts and it pushes the air out of its skin and it makes that noise. That is ter terrible. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> this one was hilarious for us to watch. <laughs> so apparently, lynx will, in, before they fight, um, deciding whether or not they're going to fight, yell at each other. I... <laughs> this sounds so wrong. <laughs> yeah, that, this is apparently a man who's constipated. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. But it's actually two cats deciding whether or not they want to mm. um, fight each other. I would fight anybody who came at me and yelled at me like that. Yep. Well, it's a hedgehog. Uh, no. It's a species of, I think, South American porcupine. I don't, I don't know where in the world this one is. Um, but it, you called this one a cat with a lisp. But these make kind of a pleasant, almost baby <laughs> cooing noises. It's actually very cute. It's adorable. And they have like the pudgy nose and stuff. <laughs> he got his cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. thank you, Zach, for showing us these amazing creatures and their sounds. Definitely tripped me up. Yep, I went into this um, knowing that koalas sounded demented. And um, there's definitely a lot more really weird animal sounds out there, but we'll have to visit those in another episode or maybe even in A Lie to Me. Hmm. Uh, we'll see. But <laughs> that was some of the odd noises that animals make that I found this week. That's cool. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Life on Earth. What? <laughs> <laughs>